going on YouTube, this is D-Ray from D-Ray TV, episode 3. Today I'm going to go over a program I stumbled across on YouTube and just looking at different malware applications, it's called Drive Century. It's right there. I was watching another YouTube, uh, YouTube person's reviews, M Rizzo's, and he was testing out Drive Century's prevention and um, it was pretty sweet it blocked all the malicious URLs he threw at it you should watch it and all the other ones but uh, I'm gonna go to the website and just show you guys the different key features and stuff while you pause the video this is what the website looks like when you uh, first open it www.drivecentury.com and you got home, key features, product support, latest news and all this and uh, I'm just going to go to key features and upgrades you also got a U3 version for uh, your thumb drive, the U3 smart drive or the hell it's called but yeah uh, there's two versions you got um, for your desktop and for your uh, thumb drive security 2.0 antivirus and anti-spyware protection and it says right there uh, Drive Sentry uses unique tri security technology, which combines a blacklist of known malicious files, a whitelist of trusted programs, and feedback statistics from the entire Drive Sentry advisor community. And then we got Drive Sentry stores a log of all files and registry rights. This allows you to monitor and analyze all rights, all write activity to your drives. So it monitors all logs, all program access. Um, unobtrusive data security, Drive Sentry monitors all access to your drives but remains uniquely un unobtrusive by unwinning notifications so you're not bothered with numerous pop ups. Protects your system and personal data and also uh, protects against zero day threats and um, just like unknown and known malware. Like again, a tri security malware. Um, there's uh, containing over 1.3 million unique virus signatures. Um, innovative whitelisting technology. Drive Century Advisor database holds the identity of many thousands of programs which have been scanned and examined. These programs are whitelisted, allowing Drive Century to automatically grant access to good programs. And they add hundreds of programs every day. Scans uh, your system for over 1 million viruses. Real time uh, program advice from Drive Century. So it's, uh, let's see, yeah, just real time program advice for Drive Century. And we got automatically blocks and quarantine malicious programs. Kind of like blacklisting. Alright. What else do we have? I'll just show you the other one for. Um, just for the hell of it. So yeah, drive century go anywhere. Tiny memory footprint, anti virus, anti rootkit, anti spyware, protect your data on the go, complete USB disk security, stand alone with portable antivirus protection. I'm not gonna get into it like uh, drive century desktop right now. Alright, now let's get to the main program. Alright, I'll start with protection. So you got general system settings. You can protect drive century data from attack, startup files, database from attack, backup database, settings, programs, com driver, filter driver. Prevent drive century from being terminated by malicious programs. You got all this. That's general system settings. Startup. Protect against programs. Adding items to all user startup, mine, my startup, startup processes. Protects against services being added and started after reboot. Protects my Windows startup from changes. All of this it protects against. Uh, let's go up. Minimize this. And internet settings. Protects uh, against programs changing my Internet Explorer favorites, Internet host settings, Internet homepage, Internet Explorer homepage. Mainly Internet Explorer, I don't see nothing about Firefox. But 
that's okay. Those are folders. No, these, no those are these are the folders. Favorites, documents, my music, my pictures, my videos, startup, system 32, drivers, etc. Um, settings, that was the settings that I was initially at. Folders, files, these are the files right there, one minute. All of this, warn me if these files are written by programs in the non-trusted list. Not in my trusted list, all of this. You can add a file type to protect. You got the wizard. I don't know what that is. I'm not gonna click on folders, files, all that. Protects. Right Firefox, Microsoft Word. You know, it's just a trusted list. Access. This is what grants access to. All of these. And then down here, say if you downloaded something, I don't know, let's say. I don't know, antivirus text feed 2009. It'll pop up, will pop up right there, block an eye, and it'll be down here in red. And you can add a program or remove a program. Scanner, it also has an on demand scanner right there. Start scan setup, full scan, scan fixed drive only, quick scan, browse for folders, C, D, and E drive. Um, got your quarantine. You can also press F5 to view them, it said. F6, F7, F8. You can just press F2, F3, F4, F5, F6, F7 for the top ones. And F8, and then you can just click the F keys. Quarantine. Logs. Um, you can clear the logs. You've got options. Show simple pop-ups, yes, pop-up speed. You can, all of this you can set to whatever you like. And right here, the last signatures, it's like trickle down. So, see trickle signature updates. Trickle feed technology keeps your database totally up to date with the latest signatures. We recommend that this box is ticked at all times and start full synchronization. Start synchronization, synchronization to the full database if your local signature account is well prepared to the signatures online. This will top up your database as quickly as possible. And it's 95%. So find more percent. Its last, last signature was win32 worm dot all apple whatever dot ge ed and it was that way. Upgrade. You gotta pay like ten dollars. It said for the upgrade. I'm not. The thing, if you don't upgrade, the first thirty days, this does it automatically right here. The trickle down. This, ooh, there we go. This does it automatically, and after thirty days, you gotta manually do it. Help and shut down. Shut down Drive Century F10. I'm I'm not really that. Um, familiar with this uh, program I heard many good things and um, it's like the future the future in uh, antivirus software I'm gonna probably get another video up about it and explain the differences between drive century and not 32 but yeah, that's Drive Century. And like I said, I'm going to get up another short video explaining in the main differences between this type of program and the traditional signature based uh, antivirus like ESET, Avast, ABG, Avera, Norton, all that. So, yes, this has been Dero TV, the place we talk antivirus, anti malware. See you later.